What's up, fellas? If this is your first time coming to the channel, my name is Adrian Wynn, and this is Wynn Styling. So you see the thumbnail? Let's get straight into it. I'm going to talk about seven shirts that every man needs in their closet. This is very important to be able to build a timeless wardrobe. Stick with true style and make sure that you have pieces that can be able to last for a while. This is your video, and I'm going to explain the shirts that you need to be able to achieve this goal and achieve this look, all right? Let's get started with number one, and that is the white button down shirt. Now, this is going to be for, you know, dressy occasions. If it's an interview, wedding, possibly a date that you're going on, and you need to have like an open collar. This is a nice shirt to be able to have. It's very versatile. Matter of fact, any suit that you pair it with, it could be able to go with it. So you want to make sure that you have maybe one, two, or even three white button down shirts in your closet. It's a staple in every man's closet. All right, so that's number one, a white button down shirt. Number two, we're going to go for the Oxford collar button down shirt. Okay, so you could go ahead and get it in different colors, but I recommend in getting this as white as well. I know the first one I said is a white button down shirt, but the Oxford collar button down shirt is a little bit more of a casual feel. You could still be able to dress it up and dress it down. But I would say that it is more casual. You could wear this with jeans, maybe some wingtip shoes, loafers. But I mean, honestly, this is another staple that every man needs as well. But you could get in a light blue, stripe, different colors. So that's number two, an Oxford collar button down shirt. Number three. Number three is something that's basic, but very simple and effective. Now I'm talking about the t-shirt. Have a white t-shirt and black t-shirt in your wardrobe these will virtually go with anything that you wear if you have an all white t-shirt you could be able to pair it with chinos jeans slacks trousers the all white is a good fit black as well so i'll say go ahead and get two t-shirts one white and one black but it's not just about getting any old t-shirt i've also done this pattern too over the years where i just get t-shirts from like you know i'm not even going to name the brands but just not very good quality i'll get it for like five bucks seven bucks and it works good for that purpose of miss let's say i have a date or i'm going to an outing or i just need a t-shirt and i'll go ahead and buy it for like five or seven bucks and then after like maybe a couple weeks or a few washes then they're not any good so i would say invest in a nice material number four number four this still goes into the dressier side but you could still pair it with a more casual feel. A light blue button down shirt. I can't tell you, this goes with a navy suit. You could pair it with your jeans. This is also versatile and is a very clean and timeless. You could, play, you could pair it with a blue tie, a blue blazer. It's just a very nice and clean look. And again, we're going for a timeless wardrobe that you could be able to wear this is a very nice piece to be able to complement your wardrobe and your style all right so that's number four a blue button down shirt number five they call this they call this the 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 girlfriends this the boyfriend's t-shirt because a lot of women love this shirt for my fellows who in the gym they work hard they work out they have results to show for it you know this shirt really accentuates your body it, it shows the muscles, it shows the shoulders. It kind of has like a little open slit. This is a short sleeve. This is a little handling, but you have some that opens a little bit more and it really just accentuates and highlights some of your attributes that you have on your body. You could get one all white, you could get one all black, navy, heather gray. There's different colors. I'm not going to tell you which color to get because honestly if you get a henley despite what the color as long as it's not like a neon with like you know crazy graphic tee but this is a timeless piece to have in your wardrobe as well so i say go ahead and invest in the henley right now number six a flannel i say that this is a very good piece to wear in the winter time in the fall time and it's just a very clean and timeless look you get you a flannel you could be able to pair it with jeans you could pair it with trousers you could pair you could even put a blazer over it if you wear it right now the thing about style is that is you have fundamental rules but at the same time if you stick to the basics you could be able to make things your own way and create your own style so i say go ahead and invest in the flannel shirt that is a very good purchase to have 
for a timeless look. Number seven. Now, this is something I probably should have put in, in, in the first place because you need to have this to be able to put on the other shirts. Now, this is the undershirt, okay? You could go ahead and get a tank top. Um, you could get an undershirt that's very, like, fitting and tight to be able to put under your, your dress shirts, under your uh, any, any shirt, really. And me, personally, I'm a guy who kind of sweats a lot, especially when it's hot outside, so... It's kind of, it's not really advantageous for me to have no undershirt on whenever I'm wearing a button down because if I'm sweating under my armpits, then that's not a good look. I don't want to have that look on me at all. So what I do is I get a, I invest in a nice undershirt, some that's moisture wicking and a very good material so that whenever I do sweat, it could be able to pick up on that and not bleed over into my dress shirt. Now this is inevitable sometimes. It may still bleed into my dress shirt, but not as much as if I didn't wear an undershirt. Okay, so you could get whatever you cut, whatever color you want, but I would suggest if you are wearing an undershirt for a white button down shirt, then I will go for a heather gray because whenever you wear a heather gray undershirt under a white shirt, then it blocks it out. Have you ever noticed whenever you wear a white button down shirt, unless they're like a white tank top or a white undershirt, and you can still see the undershirt underneath it. Now, it's like a science behind it. You could go do some research yourself. But if you wear a, a heather gray shirt under your white button down shirt, it will block it out. And you can't even tell that you're wearing an undershirt underneath. Those are my seven must have shirts to wear and have in your wardrobe for a timeless collection, for a time castle wardrobe. All right. Now, if you like anything that I said, Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with somebody who wants to improve their style. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.